medical dialogues your daily dose of health and medical news i'm roshni and let's look at today's top health news Center for Disease Control and Prevention has released guidelines on the monkeypox virus telling about the symptoms, prevention and treatment. Monkeypox is a rare disease that is caused by infection with monkeypox virus which belongs to the orthopox virus genus in the family pox variety. The orthopox virus genus also includes variola virus which causes smallpox, vaccine virus used in the smallpox vaccine and cowpox virus. In human the symptoms of monkeypox are similar to but milder than the symptoms of smallpox. Monkeypox begins with fever, headache, muscle aches and exhaustion. The main difference between symptoms of smallpox and monkeypox is that monkeypox causes lymph nodes to swell which smallpox does not. The incubation period for monkeypox is usually 7 to 14 days but can range from 5 to 21 days and within 1 to 3 days after the appearance of fever the patient develops a rash often beginning on the face then spreading to other parts of the body. The illness typically lasts for 2 to 4 weeks. In Africa, monkeypox has been shown to cause death in as many as 1 in 10 persons who contract the disease. Many individuals infected with monkeypox virus have a mild self-limiting disease course in the absence of specific therapy. However, the prognosis for monkeypox depends on multiple factors such as previous vaccination status, initial health status, concurrent illness and comorbidities among others. Persons who should be considered for treatment following consultation with CDC might include the persons with several disease, example hemorrhagic disease, confluent lesions, sepsis, encephalitis or other conditions requiring hospitalization. Regarding the prevention, the CDC says that avoid contact with animals that could harbor the virus including animals that are sick or that have been found dead in areas where monkeypox occurs. Avoid contact with any materials such as bedding that has been in contact with a sick animal and, and isolate from infected patients from others who could be at risk for infection. Regarding the medical countermeasures available for the treatment of monkeypox virus, CDC says that Currently, there is no specific treatment approved for monkeypox virus infections. However, antiviral developed for use in patients with smallpox may prove beneficial. But the following medical countermeasures are currently available from the strategic national stockpile as options for the treatment of monkeypox. Tacoviramat, also known as Topox, is an antiviral medication that is approved by the United States Food and Drug Administration for the treatment of human smallpox disease in adults and pediatric patients weighing at least 3 kg. CDC holds an expanded access investigational new drug protocol that allows for the use of tacoviramat for the treatment of non-variola or topox viruses in an outbreak. This protocol includes allowance for opening an oral capsule of tacoviramat and mixing its content with semi-solid foods for pediatric patients weighing less than 13 kgs. Tacoviramat is available as oral and injection for intravenous formulations. Cytofovir is an antiviral medication that is approved by the FDA for the treatment of cytomegalovirus retinas in patients with acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. CDC holds an EAIND that allows for the use of cytofovir for the treatment of orthopox viruses in an outbreak. Vaccinia immune globulin intravenous is licensed by the FDA external for the treatment of complications due to vaccinia vaccination including eczema vaccinatum, progressive vaccinia, several generalized vaccinia and vaccine infections in individuals who have skin conditions and aberrant infections induced by vaccinia virus. CDC holds an EAIND that allows the use of Vigif for the treatment of orthopox viruses in an outbreak. Brinci Diofovir, also known as Tembexa, is an antiviral medication that was approved by the FDA on 4th of June 2021 for the treatment of human smallpox disease in adult and pediatric patients, including neonates. 
CDC is also currently developing an EAIND to help facilitate use of Brinsido fever as a treatment for monkeypox. However, Brinsido fever is not currently available from the SNS. State and territorial health authorities can direct their request for medical countermeasures for the treatment of monkeypox to the CDC Emergency Operations Center. That's all for today. Stay safe. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.